Are you a street photographer? Are you looking for the smallest possible 28mm lens with a variable aperture? Are you looking for something that looks and feels like a Leica lens but for 10 times less money? Stay tuned. Hello, yes, Matt here. So in today's video, we are reviewing the TT Artisan 28mm f5.6 Leica M-mount pancake lens. This is the smallest TT Artisan lens with a variable aperture. Now, for any of you fellow Leica fans, you may know that this lens is based on the Leica Sumron M 28mm f5.6 lens. This was a modernized re-release of the original lens from 1955 through to 1963. The LTM and the M have the same optics, and this lens is very similar to both of them. Firstly, thank you to TT Artisans for sending me this lens. The photos you'll see were shot on a Leica M240, Leica SL and Leica CL, just to get an idea of how the lens performs on different cameras. But obviously it probably looks better on something like this Leica M6 here. I've not had a chance to shoot film on it yet, as I wanted to get this video out to you sooner rather than later. So what can I tell you about this lens? This lens has a maximum aperture of f5.6 going down to f22 with full stop aperture clicks and no half stops. It gives you a close focus distance of one meter through to infinity with an infinity lock. You focus this lens with the vintage style focus tab and to unlock the lens just press a little button on the top of the focus tab. Being kind of a clone of the Leica Summeron 28mm f2.8, this lens is all metal and glass and it's really nicely made. It's very smooth and it feels very solid. This lens is a standard manual focus like an M-out lens and it is range from the coupled. That being said, unlike the Leica version, this lens is not 6-bit coded. The TT Artisan lens is available in silver only, whereas you can get the Leica version in black or silver. The lens is said to be copper chrome plated. Being a pre-release lens, this lens was supplied to me without a lens hood, but the final lens does come with a solid brass vintage star hood, similar to the Leica copy. It is a rectangular hood with a black finish. This then brings me on to, is this lens an exact clone of the Leica? And the answer is no. The reason I say this is because the TT Artisan is seven elements in four groups, whereas the Leica version is six elements in four groups. The TT Artisan version is a 37mm filter thread. The Leica version is a 34mm filter thread. A quick hack, as 37mm is not a common size, I use a cheap 37 to 39mm step ring, and that allows me to use my standard 39mm filters. The TT Artisan lens weighs 151 grams or 5.3 ounces. The Leica Summeron M weighs 165 grams or 5.8 ounces. And the TT Artisan lens is 90 millimeters long, whereas the Leica Summeron is only 80 millimeters long. For most parts, it is a very, very similar lens. This lens is a six blade design, but you're probably not going to see any sun stars or bokeh. I'll come on to that in a second. And in terms of what is in the box, you get a front and rear metal lens cap. The front lens cap is a push-on design like the, the vintage Leica lenses, and the rear cap is a standard Leica M bayonet fit. And both of those come in a nice box, and there is a space in the box for the hood when the hood becomes available. Okay, so the important bit, what about seeing some sample photos? As this lens is perfect for street photography, and perhaps less so for my usual model photography, I headed to Birmingham yesterday and did a day of street photography. So let's go through some of the characteristics of this lens. Firstly, vignetting. At 5.6, this lens does have some light fall off at the corners but then if you stop it down to f8 as you see here the fall off is less this is similar to the Leica version and it helps give that vintage less modern look to the photos in terms of colors i didn't experience any color cast and to me the colors seem true to life as seen in a couple of examples here in terms of flare this lens can flare a lot even with the recessed lens design if you point the lens at the sun you will get a huge amount of flare and even if you tilt the lens as a slight angle as seen here you will still get kind of a, a flare across the lens. I was shooting the lens from f5.6 right through to f22 and I experienced flare at all apertures. And that brings me on to sun stars. I didn't see a single sun star yesterday, regardless of whether it was f5.6 right through to f22. So if you like sun stars, this lens may not be for you. You may prefer something like the Voigtlander Ultron 28mm, which is brilliant for sun stars. That said, if you like the like a glow look, this lens gives halation around points of light. Contrast of this lens I thought was good. There is a slight drop in contrast if you point in towards a brighter scene, but I thought overall it gave a really nice kind of tonality and kind of a, a more realistic look to what you'd expect with your own eyes. In terms of detail at first glance, you may think these photos are really sharp. I did a comparison between the Leica CL with the 18mm Leica Elmritz lens, which is a 28mm equivalent. That is a very sharp lens on par with something like the the like Elmrich 28mm for those of you that know that lens and if you zoom in on these two photos the first photo as seen here is shot with the CL and the Elmrich TL 18mm lens and then this is a crop in of the TT Artisan 28mm f5.6 at the same settings and in this photo there's still quite a lot of detail captured. Why do I maybe sound surprised? 
because in some photos I noticed really good sharpness and clarity, yet in other photos it seemed to have more of a holger look as if there was some plastic over the lens. Almost all of these photos were shot with hyperfocal focusing or zone focusing. I set the distance of the lens to 2 meters and then everything was in focus from 1 meter through to infinity. Most of the photos in this video were shot from the hip or I was using live view rather than the viewfinder for composition. For street photography I find it more comfortable to be shooting with the camera away from my face. It just seems to be less intimidating for the people you're photographing and for myself too. I feel less of a threat if I don't have the camera on my face. And that brings me on to sharpness. The detail of this lens is good but the sharpness of the lens is less good. If you want a less clinical look you will love this lens. If you want more of an analog look you will love this lens. If you're a pixel peeper and you like apo lenses you might not love this lens. The photos look good from a distance which is probably how photos should be but then if you do suffer from pixel peeping syndrome like myself from time to time where you, you zoom in on the picture 100% to check every little detail you're not going to find the resolution that you would find on many other 28mm lenses. That said if you love the analog look but you don't want to spend the time developing your own film then this is brilliant because it gives you look one step closer to analog but still the mod cons of digital. So I guess the same benefits of a classic lens or a vintage lens but it's brand new so you don't have all the problems of potentially haze or fungus or mold or dodgy eBay sellers or all the problems that come with vintage lenses. This is a brand new vintage lens so win-win. That brings me nicely on to price. How much does this lens cost? Once this lens is available you'll be able to buy this lens for £230 or $298. That's 10 times less than the Leica version for a near identical lens. So what are my thoughts? Can I recommend this lens? Yes, I absolutely highly recommend this lens unless you like super sharp photos. This lens feels really well built. It looks really good, especially on say a black paint Leica M6 or whatever your favorite Leica camera is. I think it looks particularly good on black. Talking of price tags, there are a few alternative lenses that you could also look at. If you are a 28mm Leica M shooter, obvious choices are probably things like the Leica Elmerit 28mm 2.8 spherical. If you want something even smaller than the TT Artisan, your only option is the Leica Summeron M 28mm f5.6. That's actually a lie. The smallest 28mm is the MS Optics 28mm f2. If you want something with a much faster aperture, definitely check out the Voigtlander Ultron 28mm f2. I've now got that lens and it is fantastic. If you prefer vintage rendering you may want to check out the Orion 15 28mm f5.6. I shot this lens yesterday and to my eyes the results were very similar to the TT Artisan to the extent that it wasn't really worth showing you the difference because I couldn't really tell the difference. The flare is slightly different on the Orion 15 and you can see that here. And then if you want something small but vintage and sharper definitely check out the Canon 28mm f2.8 lens. I still need to do a review on this lens but if you check out my 28mm shootout video that is a very high performing lens in a small package. And with all that that said, who is this lens best suited to? If you love street photography with an M camera and you don't want a super clinical look, definitely consider this lens. The only point to be aware of if you're working in low light, this lens has a maximum aperture of obviously f5.6. So I had my ISO up to 1600 yesterday and that sometimes meant that my shutter speed wasn't fast enough. So I got some motion blur in quite a few images which I didn't include. So just be aware that f5.6 can be a limitation in certain situations. And just to finish, I actually wish they made this lens in like a thread mount because then I could use it on my like a screw mount cameras the like a three cameras because they are even smaller than like m cameras and that would then give you the the ultimate setup that's why i looked at the like version of this in the past and with that said if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and as always a massive thank you to my patrons